Hello there everybody, what is up? Elliot Dada Sahata here, and before I get on to the real topic of this video, I just want to make a apology concerning my last video. I made an announcement to everyone that Carnivore's Dada Sahata Reborn was coming to PC, but it was going to be a Kickstarter project, and I kind of went a little overboard with questioning why the devs needed so much money, kind of implying they were being dull, money, greedy jerks. Until they posted this on the main Carnivore's Dinosaur Hunter Reborn website. They said, and I quote, and I ripped right from their website, that the majority of the work for Carnivore's Dinosaur Hunter Reborn is mostly complete. Technology and assets from the PlayStation game have been used to build this game. Digital Dreams Entertainment is reaching out to fans for assistance funding the latest stages of game development, including testing, Q&A, fine-tuning, and polishing. The game will be available on PC and has been approved for Valve's Steam Network once it's complete. Digital Dreams Entertainment has gone on record as saying, Fans will be given a chance to literally control the game's content to help us build a bigger and better game. But regardless of the success of our Kickstarter campaign, this game is going to be released. Boy, if I would have known about that, I would not have been making rants asking why you guys are asking so much money for this project. But hey, I got word out that you guys were porting the PS3 game on the PC, and your Kickstarter project is actually doing pretty good so far. With 74 backers, $2,810 racked up, with 26 days left to go, it seems like you guys are making decent progress, and I hope you guys rack up enough money to fix up all the problems the PS3 version of the game had once you guys release it onto PC. And again, I apologize for my somewhat mean rants I made in my previous video. I was only being honest with you all, showing my concerns for this game being a Kickstarter project. But at the same time, I guess the way I was saying things was a little bit unprofessional. Well, heck, even in that video, I even said I was sorry for the little bit of the outburst. But after reading up what they posted up on their main website, I felt even more bad and felt that I definitely owe an apology. So yeah, again... I'm sorry for the rants. I'm still going to be funding money in the project though. Well, rants or no rants, I was going to be funding money in the project anyway. And if you guys want to fund money into this project, I'll be sure to leave a link to their Kickstarter page down below in the description. And now that I've basically ranted off everything that I wanted to, get everything off my chest, let's get on to the actual video. But first, an awesome clip. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm bringing you all the goodness known as Carnivore's 2 as I bring you all some classic commentary and classic dinosaur ponage as I talk about what I want to see in the upcoming Carnivore's Reborn. Now keep in mind, this wish list is comprised of ideas I personally want to see in the upcoming Carnivore's game. If you guys have any interesting ideas you want to share, please leave it down in the comments below. And one more thing I must stretch before getting on to my ideas is, the majority of ideas you guys are going to be hearing is gameplay changes. Things like adding new dinosaurs and maps, I will talk about till way later, because those are ideas that we're, we will only see possible if the Kickstarter project reaches its stretched goals. So, without further ado, let's get on with my wish list. The first thing on my list is a bigger trophy room. In the original Carnivore's games for PC, we were given trophy rooms that could hold a max capacity of 24 trophies. In the PS3 game, it was reduced down to 17 trophies. Now that they're moving on to PC, I hope they give us a bigger trophy room that will have like a 30 to 40 trophy capacity. I mean, it would make sense because they keep talking about how they want to add more and more dinosaurs in the game, so it'd only be logical 
to give us a bigger trophy room so we can fit all those new and old species of dinosaurs into our trophy room. Second thing on my list, make decoys a deployable gadget. Decoys, or calls, have been one of the key features in the carnivores games that allow you to mimic the sounds of the dinosaur you are hunting to lure it closer to your position. I feel it should be a deployable gadget to give the hunter a more tactical approach. He can place the decoy wherever, place himself in a spot where he can shoot the dinosaur once he hears the sound of the decoy and bag the trophy. To balance this out, I think it should remain the same in the sort of sense that you'd have to activate the calls manually, and you have to play the calls right in order to lure the dinosaur. If you play them wrong, the dinosaur will grow suspicious and either run away or start looking for you instead. On the topic of gadgets, I would want them to add a new one I personally would like to call, for now anyway, Tracker Bullets. On the PS3 game, if you kill the dinosaur, you have to walk up to it, push square to claim, and the trophy ship will come in and put it in your trophy room. In the PC games, if you kill the dinosaur, the trophy ship came in automatically so you could go dilly dally around more on the island and kill more dinosaurs. Now the idea of having to walk up and claim your kills isn't a bad idea, in fact it gives the game a bit more of a realistic feeling. However, let's face it, trying to find those long range kills that you nabbed is harder than trying to find that lost sock you threw in the dryer. This is when the idea of having to walk up and claim your kills gets annoying. And this is why I say they should offer a gadget that allows the trophy ship to come in and pick up all kills you nabbed automatically. Next on my list is a dodge mechanic. Who remembers in the new Turok that if you jolted the control stick left or right, your character would do this sort of log jump to dodge out of harm's way? Now I feel something like that should be incorporated in Carnivore's Reborn. However, it shouldn't be as spammable. There should be a fairly decent cooldown to the ability, so the player isn't constantly dodging the dinosaur trying to charge at him. He should only be given a one-time opportunity to jump out of the way at the right time to confuse the dinosaur. And while the dinosaur is standing there confused, trying to figure out your location, it will also give you enough time to whip out your gun and put one more shot into him to finish him off. However, if you miss your shots, and if the dinosaur finds you, you're dead. And that's not only because he found you, it's because you didn't have enough energy to dodge out of the way again. I don't know, I think it'd be a cool mechanic. There was a way to dodge dinosaurs in the classic PC game, so I feel they should bring something into the new Carnivore's title to give players that second fighting chance against more aggressive predators. Or aggressive herbivores, I don't know. Whenever you're hunting, it has plans to kill you, basically. It'd be nice to have a way to move out of the way so you're just not standing there accepting death. Next on my list is bring back selectable times of day with the addition of selectable weather conditions. Now a lot of us, maybe even the devs could agree that splitting apart the maps just because of weather conditions and time of day was a stupid idea. I mean, I wouldn't mind giving the option to hunt either really early in the day or during foggy weather conditions, but the Split them apart to have the excuse to have lots of maps? Come on now. I mean, I get it. They might have been on a low budget when they were developing the PS3 version, so they needed an excuse to add more maps. But if you ask me, I would have been just fine if it was just the one map, but you were given options of time of day and weather. But with the game being ported into PC, I can only hope that they compact everything so we don't get more dusk regular daytime or foggy variants of the same map. And that they will grant us a little bit more customization when we go onto the island to hunt. Like, give us the option to hunt at dawn but with heavy winds or daytime with fog or nighttime with rain. 
I mean, just simple things like that so we can all have a more pleasurable hunting experience. But then again, I'm no advanced programmer in video games, so all the stuff I call simple is probably a lot trickier to do than I imagine. On the topic of maps, the next thing on my list is make all dinosaurs available for all maps. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it was kinda cool when you had some dinosaurs exclusive to some maps. It shows that they have their own preferred territory they like to hang around in. But that alone got ruined when different dinosaurs could come in at different weather conditions and times of the day. I mean, what's stopping a fully grown T-Rex from walking into Daphilus Hills at daytime and eat all of the small stegos and ankylosaurs? And funny thing I mentioned T-Rexes because the last thing on my wish list is more old school T-Rexes. And what I mean by that is, give them back their old sniffing and seeing animations, but don't make them as long to give the player so much time to shoot them, but just enough to where the player needs fast reactions in order to shoot him, but if he doesn't have fast enough reactions, the Rex is going to chase him down and eat him. Also, spawn more than one T-Rex on the map, but don't go overkill like in Carnivores 2 though. <sighs> I'm talking Carnivores 1 style where there was like three Rexes on the map. Or heck, throw in an extra one. Throw like four Rexes on the map. And finally, do not let them spawn unless the player selects the license. I mean, I get what they were going for when they made T-Rex spawn alongside all the other dinosaurs regardless if license was selected or not. They wanted to give the game a more intense feel. They wanted the player to feel a little bit of stress when trying to bag specific dinosaurs. However, what the old games got right was, you could go casual hunting if you liked and not break a sweat, or you could really challenge yourself if you ever feel like it. Converse Dinosaur Hunter HD pretty much throws you in the constant amount of challenge with Rex always spawning regardless if you have license selected or not. So if there's one thing I'm hoping they go old school when it comes to Rex, it's that. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up my wish list. I hope you all found my ideas very interesting. And again, if you have interesting ideas to share, please leave it down in the comments below. And for anyone who's a current backer of the project, please link this video in the comments section in the Kickstarter page. So hopefully the devs will catch their eyes on this video and in the comments down below. And hopefully we'll see my and everyone else's idea incorporated into Reborn. But until that happens, I'm Alien Dinosaur Hunter, and I'm signing out. Peace out, everybody.